Hello everyone, in this video, let us use a script runner to fetch the change history of an issue. I made a video before on this topic where I used a script runner to basically fetch the change history of an issue. And in Jira, as you already know, that whenever you do any updates, let us say you are updating a field or you're doing a workflow transition, there is a history which is actually recorded and you can view this history from the UI by going to the history tab. But uh, for some reason, if you want to also fetch this information uh, using script runner, so you can actually do that. And uh, people use uh, change history for uh, various purposes like uh, reporting or maybe you want to know what happened uh, uh, with the issue maybe in the past. Recently, there was a question on the community where one user was asking about, uh, I want to understand, uh, I want to fetch the first, the very first assignee of the issue. And uh, I reply to that user with a code to basically fetch this information using the uh, script runner, simple code. And uh, this particular uh, script runner code that I will be showing you today will use the change history manager. Now, if you look at this piece of code, uh, the only thing that I'm doing right now is I'm using this uh, change history manager, which is uh, uh, my own variable. And uh, this is basically using a method called uh, get change history manager. Now, as soon as you fetch this uh, uh, change history of uh, of a particular issue, right now we're talking about uh, one issue in uh, our Jira instance. So this issue, Android-38, it has uh, some changes. We have been doing some changes on this particular issue. Now we want to see what all we can uh, do with the uh, script now. Now, if you want to fetch all the items that you have uh, or all the changes that you have uh, been doing on this particular issue, you can use uh, uh, another method called uh, get all change items and it will take one uh, parameter one argument, uh, which is uh, the issue object. Now, if you run this particular piece of code, you will get some output. And uh, this output is uh, showing you some items and uh, it is not really uh, readable. So what we need to do, we need to basically uh, use, uh, let us say, one more uh, method called uh, each. And if you want, you can actually fetch uh, the individual uh, fields or uh, various uh, things that you can fetch from the change history, like uh, what field was changed, what was the previous value, what, what is the new value, and uh, when this particular change happened. So let us write some code, uh, let us write some code to get more information out of this. Now I'll use uh, this uh, uh, each and I'll probably uh, use uh, something like it. And uh, now if I want to know what all changes are uh, happening to various uh, fields, I can use something like uh, a field or from or to. So let, let us see how it works. And if you're new to script runner, you can use the new code editor, which is great in my opinion. And if you want to learn script runner, this is really uh, uh, useful. Now, if you press control spacebar on your keyboard, you will get this uh, list of things that you can do further with each and every uh, item in this particular uh, uh, list. And uh, what we need to do is we need to first uh, find something like field. So this will show us the field that is basically changing, that has changed. Now to display this, I will probably use log.debug. So we can uh, go to the log tab and we can uh, basically see what changes or uh, you know what fields are changing now if, if i run this particular piece of code i don't have any error so which is good i can see something in the log tab and i can see already that uh, we have uh, status priority and resolution then again status and so many things changing in the issue so this is the field now let us add some more information to this particular uh, piece of code i want to first uh, print out the date. So I'll probably add something like a date uh, or maybe created. I'm doing this because I already know that uh, the field or the, uh, the actual uh, created will uh, give me the actual date uh, of this change. And uh, let me just do it again. I'll probably add uh, it in a better way. So I'll 
just to include this uh, column in, in between so we can have this uh, printed nice nicely so i'll uh, type it again it dot uh, i'll press uh, control space and now i can uh, select things like uh, timestamp which is uh, created the, the name is uh, created i'll select this i'll probably also add uh, the actual value that has changed so there is something called as it dot uh, from and if you're not sure you can again use the control control space bar so i can select something like from value and i may want to delimit it i'll probably insert something like uh, maybe hyphen so we have something which is printed nicely and uh, let us wait for it to display no errors i can see some error right now and uh, maybe i'm doing something wrong so we have it dot from let me check with it dot from and i'll anyways run this piece of code and uh, let me see if i have any error so i have i have an error and uh, I can see here that the error is complaining about uh, script console script failed, no signature method timestamp. Okay, so I think it is complaining about the uh, date. So let me just check it again. So we have something like created, and uh, I may want to convert it into a string just to keep things simple, so we can uh, concatenate it. So we don't have any error which is a good thing so if we run this particular piece of code i hope we'll get something so we now have uh, this date information and i'm not really worrying about uh, formatting the date and uh, uh, you know doing it nicely with just uh, you know let us say ddmmyy it is the whole timestamp which is now converted to string and i did this to string because uh, i wanted to concatenate the whole thing so i can uh, take a look at uh, various things that are changing now we can see the value the initial value was low or maybe to do for a status and we also want to see the value the new value so i can probably add something like this in the code and uh, i'll add something like it.2 and again as i mentioned before if you're not sure uh, what to uh, you know what methods or uh, what things you want to fetch you can uh, use the code editor and uh, it will basically assist you so if we run this particular piece of code we will uh, hopefully get uh, a detailed information about uh, when this change happened what change was uh, there on on basically which field and uh, the actual value from the previous value and the new value so you can see here that on uh, 22nd of November, the status was changed from to do to in progress. No, 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 not on 22nd of November. It was on 14th of May. So this is the field that you should be looking at, not the uh, uh, debug date. Uh, it is basically the date when you're running this code. Now, if you scroll down to the very bottom, you can see the most recent uh, date here. And of course, you can uh, sort the list based on uh, the date or the created date now this looks good and we have been able to fetch this uh, change history of the uh, issue but in this video i wanted to show you something else not this one because uh, we have already one video covering the same thing now what if you just want to focus on uh, the status or maybe you just want to see the priority of uh, the issue and instead of printing everything you just want to let us say display or fetch the assignee or a specific field that you are interested in so there is another method of uh, doing that so instead of using get all change items you can do something like this there is a, a method called as uh, i'll show you how to uh, understand what all you can do so i'll probably use control space and let us wait for it to display something like uh, this uh, so we want to see get we want to use get change items for field now if you use this uh, method we have to pass into 
let me just you know scroll it up so we have to pass into parameters one is the issue which we already have and the second is the name of the field which is string and it will return a return us a list something similar to what we were doing before now let us use this method i'll use first my object which is a, which is my issue object and let us say if we just want to focus on the assignee field right and uh, this is not correct assign it to e now the rest of the code can actually be same as before i'll copy this piece of code from above and uh, i will paste it here and uh, just to separate these two piece of code uh, these two snippets i'll probably add uh, a line in between in my uh, log something like uh, only assignee so this looks good i think so uh, hopefully this will uh, after this particular line only assignee we will only have the change history of assignee not anything else so if i run this piece of code we have uh, quite additional entries in the log instead of 42 we have 49 entries and if i scroll down further we can now see that uh, after only assignee we can see some additional uh, uh items where we just have assignee now we can change it to maybe something like uh, priority and uh, i'll probably make the code a bit neat priority and if we run this code we have 60 entries in the log and uh, we can now see here that the priority is uh, do, is displaying us uh, some numbers uh, but initially it was uh, in the above code it was the string low highest but it is giving us numbers which is fine what we can do here is we can uh, uh, check whether we have uh, something uh, that we can uh, use here to display the actual string so if i type if i press control space i was using from and to before but uh, this time we have something like uh, from string and uh, i guess there should be something like to string i'll just type it here so this is the benefit of using a uh, code uh, the new code editor where you can uh, press control space and you can uh, basically take the help or uh, of basically a uh, code editor to help you with all the possible methods now we are able to fetch the priority with the string which is uh, something that we did very easily now uh, this all looks uh, quite uh, good and uh, we are basically using the change uh, history manager to fetch something from uh, the change history manager the only thing that i wanted to tell you in this video is that uh, using these different methods you can uh, do few things that uh, uh, are otherwise a bit difficult because if you don't know the right method you are not sure how to basically do a specific thing like in this case uh, we wanted to focus on only priority i could have used maybe some addi additional validations or you know some conditions in the above code and uh, maybe i can add a add a loop add a if condition here that if the field is priority or assignee then only do this uh, debugging or basically uh, print something but uh, we also have a method here a de de dedicated method to fetch the items for a specific field now if let us say you want to figure out uh, more details about these methods you can also press control j and uh, i have talked about this uh, before that uh, uh this control j or when you press control j uh you will be taken to the uh, atlassian docs uh where you can have uh, the details of uh, the method it is basically the, the documentation of the jira api and you can see here that we are looking at get all change items it takes one one uh, argument uh only one parameter which is the issue object and it will return list of change history of a given issue now if you click on this change history you can of course uh, do further digging and uh, what i was doing in the code i was just uh, playing with the control space bar and i was getting a list of all the things that i can do and it 
will really help it will really help you in uh, writing code faster and uh, you don't need to figure out and you know look in in the documentation all the time although if you refer to the, to the, to the documentation it will of course give you the information but when you're writing code you, it is always good to have this uh, handy feature to use the uh, code editor to assist you in writing code quickly so this is all i wanted to share in this uh, video and uh, i will be making more video more videos on script runner this is my 51st video and i'm really happy that uh, uh, people are enjoying and uh, learning a lot from these videos i'm very happy with uh, the progress so far if you have any suggestions about uh, what kind of videos i should be making on jira or maybe you're trying to learn script runner do let me know and i'll keep a list of those things that uh, you want me to cover in these videos so i'll end the, i'll end this video and uh, i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you very much